Undercover informants and a brother turned informant were among those testifying at a high-profile death penalty trial today on the First Coast. Jonathan Quillis is accused of killing his underage niece because she was pregnant with his child. 16-year-old Ayanna Sawyer vanished from Terry Parker High School. That was back in late 2018. It's now day five of testimony, and Ann Schindler joins us now to catch us up with what's been happening in the courtroom. Ann? Well, jurors had a later night than usual today. In fact, they're still there. They were listening to a lengthy recording of Quillis, secretly made by two jailhouse informants, as well as testimony from his brother. Now, in that recording, he confesses to killing his niece by shooting her and then dumping her body in a container at the automotive junkyard where he worked. The jury also heard from Quillis's ex-wife. She said she was initially defensive when her sister suggested that her husband was behaving inappropriately with Yana Sawyer, but she gradually became and gradually began to believe that he was capable of killing the teenager. In comments pointedly directed at the defendant, she recalled his behavior before and after the crime. Prior to that, he was fidgety and nervous, restless. After she went missing, then he slept like a baby. And I'm aware of this because I was very pregnant and I was up every hour on the hour to go to the bathroom as he slept like a baby. As a powerful witness, the last witness of the day, and I think the last witness of the state's presentation is Quillis's biological brother. He's the one who originally contacted Jacksonville police after his brother confessed. He testified today as a reluctant witness, said he still loves his brother, but he's considered a key witness for the prosecution. Back to you.